Developing tonight, we're learning more about the arrest of State Senator Leland Yee, the target of a federal sting. He's out on bail. Today, he withdrew his candidacy for Secretary of State. He's facing charges of wire fraud and arms smuggling, leaving fellow lawmakers stunned. Also arrested well-known political consultant Keith Jackson and a notorious Chinese gang member known as Shrimp Boy. Our team coverage begins with Crown Force Dan Kerman, who reports from outside Senator Yee's home in San Francisco. The fallout from the federal corruption allegations against State Senator Leland Yee has begun with this letter to Secretary of State Deborah Bowen. Dear Deborah, I hereby withdraw my candidacy for election of Secretary of State effective immediately. With best regards, signed Leland Yee, State Senator. Yee's attorney announced his client's departure from the race at a noon news conference, but had no comment about whether Yee will resign from the state Senate. Any other issues uh, will come in due time. State Senate leader Daryl Steinberg is already calling on Yee to resign. Lee, don't burden your colleagues and this great institution with your trouble. And Steinberg is not alone. U.S. Senators Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer have both issued statements calling for Yee to step down. And as it stands now, the Senate is set to suspend Yee Friday morning. We will be voting on the floor tomorrow to suspend him. So Leland Yee will not be on the floor of the Senate ever again. Here's the difference between suspension and resignation. If the senator resigns, he no longer collects that $95,000 a year salary. If, however, he doesn't resign and is only suspended, he continues to collect his salary. Outside the senator's home in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. And Cron 4's Justine Waldman has been digging deeper into that 137-page uh, complaint and joins us now with what she's learned about the players involved. Justine? From reading the documents, it would appear that the state senator was not the FBI's original target. The FBI got to Li Lin Yi through Raymond Shrimp Boy Chow. He is the leader or the dragon head of the Chi Kong Tong, an organization in San Francisco's Chinatown. Because of his criminal past, the FBI believes Shrimp Boy has connections to organized crime. The undercover agent then became part of Shrimp Boy's group, and through there, the complaint says he was introduced to other defendants and able to launder money, deal drugs, and engage in murder-for-hire schemes. And then the agent met Yee's close political consultant, Keith Jackson, and from there, they were able to arrange the weapons deals. In the criminal complaint, now disgraced State Senator Lee Lin Yi attributed his long career in public office to being careful and cautious. But the FBI used satellite, wiretapping, and undercover agents to catch the now disgraced politician. According to the complaint in August 2013, Lee Lin Yi's campaign consultant, Keith Jackson told an undercover FBI agent that Yi had contact with, quote, an international arms dealer who was shipping large stockpiles of weapons to a foreign country. Fast forward to January 2014. The agent Jackson and Yi meet at a coffee shop in San Francisco. The agent tells Jackson he gave $5,000 to Yi for the sole purpose of meeting the arms dealer. Yi allegedly assures the agent the opportunity to purchase the weapons from the dealer was the real deal, saying, quote, I know what he could do. I have seen what he has done in the past on other products, and this guy has the relationships. According to Yi, the arms dealer has contacts in Russia, Ukraine, Boston, and Southern California. Yi tells the agent, do I think we can make some money? I think we can make some money. Do I think we can get the goods? I think we can get the goods. The agent then asked for shoulder-fired missiles and automatic weapons worth 500000 to two and a half million dollars. Yi ends their conversation by saying he wanted the agent and Jackson to make all the money because, quote, he didn't want to go to jail. And while the investigation all started five years ago, the documents say it was just two weeks ago that Yi met with Jackson and that undercover agent, and they openly discussed how they would break up any cash payments into legitimate campaign donations. In that meeting, the agent was all ready to give Yi a $6,800 cash donation. Now, keep in mind, that is well above the $500 limit. Catherine.
Well, new at eight, a former colleague of Senator Yee and Keith Jackson is uh, speaking out about this corruption scandal. Cron 4 talked to Mary Hernandez. She is a former school board member. She served on the board with Jackson. She was closely affiliated with Yee politically and calls the charges against both men appalling. Absolute shock. So I, I started to read the news about Keith and Leland, and I, I was shocked because the Keith I knew on the school board cared deeply about the city's most disadvantaged kids. I remember speaking with him about education equity, about bridging the achievement gap for African American and Latino students, and um, so I, I, I remember him as a person who was trying to serve his community. So with that in mind, I was very disappointed. And Leland was someone who had the reputation that he was the go-to person if you needed somebody courageous who would, who would stand up for the underdog. She says that she is heartbroken by the news and says the scandal has diluted all of the good things uh, she says both of them did.